uh, I learned American Chinese, <laughs> and his English better than mine. He says, "Great to make grammar." At the end of the year. <laughs> Too many details. Uh, my name is Joanne. I'm American, and uh, I was born in Alaska. My father was a military. I was, I'm an Air Force brat, and uh, born in Alaska, but left it after three years and moved to Florida. My father is American American. Family traced back to the Mayflower. Uh, my mother was from Germany. She met my father during the war. My mother was the only one who left Germany. All her other siblings are in Germany. And uh, she raised us as Americans, speaking English only. And uh, they were both Lutheran. We were raised in a Lutheran church. It, was, it played a big role in our, in our family, in our lifestyle. We went to church. My father uh, was uh, usher and my mother was a Sunday, Sunday school teacher. Both of them sang in the choir. So, and the friends of the family were all from the church. And uh, we had a happy childhood and didn't feel anything out of place. Um, after my parents got divorced, I wouldn't say my mother left Christianity. She still believed in God, but she stopped going to the church. And uh, when I went to catechism class, um, there was a problem with me uh, accepting the Trinity. At that time, I was maybe 12, 13 years old. And they couldn't explain it to me. And matter of fact, they got fed up with me and told me, you know, you just gotta have faith and you just gotta believe. Well, if somebody is religious and supposed to be teaching you something, how can they get fed up with you or just want you to say, just accept it and, that, and move on? I was um, seeking, seeking the truth. That's what I wanted, the truth. And then as I got older, um, I was independent from the age of 14 on. I wanted to grow up and live my life. And um, I, didn't feel that man's rule was um, the law that we should follow only i knew there had to be a higher law because who created man god so um i wasn't sure the bible didn't give me the guidelines that i needed and it changed from church to church from uh, i went into presbyterian churches methodist churches never went into catholic church because i knew definitely um that uh, that wasn't the path for me and uh, when I found Islam, um, uh, I knew that this was the religion. Uh, this was brotherhood, sisterhood. Uh, people had trust for one another, even if they didn't know each other, because they were Muslims. It doesn't mean that all Muslims are good. You have many Muslims that don't practice their religion, same as in Christianity. So I thought nothing of that. And the bad Muslims or the Muslims who are not practicing their religion didn't put me off, because you know it makes sense. Uh, nobody is perfect. Nobody's an angel. But um, I liked the, um, the belonging, the, the unity of Islam. And the directions, the guidelines came from God. And we had a real life uh, person to follow examples. And that was the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And his character uh, was, was something that was amazing. Something, we had details of his character and how he lived his life. So we had something to look up to to guide. It's not just um, the Quran. We had a true guide, a guidance. And um, that's what let me accept Islam. And that gut feeling came to me when I was in a disco. I was from Tia. I was in Tampa. And it's where I learned about Islam. And I moved with the students to Miami. Whoa, Miami in the early 80s, the best place to be as far as party, party, party. And that's where I was at that time, a party girl, loved to dance. And uh, it was in a disco that when they came around and asked what drinks you want, I said, um, Pepsi, water. And everybody looked around at me and said, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah. Then somebody comes to ask me to dance and I'm like, no. I'm like, that's really strange. You know, I get up and dance with probably the devil himself if he asked me to dance. Um, and then I felt I'm not in the right place. I shouldn't be here. And uh, I said, I I'm going to go home. And we just got here, and I'm going to go home. And on the way home, uh, you know, I just had this feeling that you were searching for the true words of God. Um, now you know about it. Uh, you know a little bit about it. You know where, where it is. So I, I could die at any moment and not have accepted that, the, the true path. And uh, nobody's promised life. Nobody's promised the next minute. And that's what you do. I didn't think twice about what is my mother going to think? What is my father going to think? What are my friends going to think? 
it's my life. I live it. I take care of myself. I take care of my children. I was a single parent of two, with two small children. So I, it didn't cross my mind twice about uh, what would happen if I accepted Islam. I knew I had to accept Islam. I knew inside it's like that gut feeling. Go with the gut feeling. I tell my students that. I tell my children that. And I took my own advice. I went with my gut feeling and I became a Muslim. And then I learned. In Islam, we're, we are told the first verse that was revealed in the Quran was Ikra, which could mean proclaim or read in the name of your Lord. So that's what you got to do. You got to proclaim who you are, what you are. Seek the truth and you'll find it. Trust your gut feelings.